Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already.
independent study whose validity is currently being challenged revealed the following. Excessive ingestion of sarsaparilla can lead to deleterious effects, including, but not limited to, kidney damage, nausea, digital numbness, anxiety, loss of visual acuity, dizziness, occasional nosebleeds, joint inflammation, tooth decay, sore throat, bronchitis, organ rupture, and halitosis. Note that you'd have to drink a heap of Sunset Sarsaparilla to match the quantities used in the study. <laughs> How much, you ask? A lot. A whole hell of a lot. In fact, you'd have to get full as a tick on Sunset Sarsaparilla to even come close. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, partner. And keep drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company. Wrangle up a stool and listen to old Festus jaw a while. If you and old Festus are old pals, say a command now. Otherwise, say, pleased to meet you, and we'll get acquainted. Or, if you have more important things to do than talk to old Festus, say goodbye. If this is your first rodeo with the old horseshoes, say, how do I play? Otherwise, say, lucky horseshoes to begin. Lucky Horseshoes is played with cards number 2 through 10 and aces, which have a value of 1. You and old Festus will take turns drawing cards. Each time we draw a card, we add it to our total, trying to hit the magic number of 21. If either of us draws a card that brings our total up to the same number as the other, it pushes the other player's total up 1. When this happens, it's called Lucky Horseshoes. Old Festus thought of the name himself, I'll have you know. <laughs> when one of us is closer to 21 and the other can't get any closer, either by going over or because he or she held, the closer player wins. Old Festus likes the game because there are no ties in Lucky Horseshoes. If someone's sitting pretty on 21, Lady Luck can still bump them off. But enough jawing. By now, you're as eager as I am to get tossing. If this is your first rodeo with the old horseshoes, say, how do I play? Otherwise, say, lucky horseshoes to begin.
That's too bad. Old Festus was looking forward to a good tussle. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company. Wrangle up a stool and listen to old Festus jaw a while. If you and old Festus are old pals, say a command now. Otherwise, say, pleased to meet you, and we'll get acquainted. Saloon owner went on to become rich selling the new drink and took 